Yo, what's going on guys? It's Sinister Skater here, and I'll tell you, I absolutely despised playing Uplink on the map Nuketown because every time I would play that game, someone would grab the Uplink ball and just hold it and run around knifing people with it or running their spawn, and then you just get absolutely spawn camp because you're playing Uplink, especially on Nuketown, you just spawn in the same spot over and over again, and I, you just got destroyed, and every time I played it, I got destroyed. So I was going in with my friend, and he's like, alright, let's play, let's play Uplink on Nuketown. I'm like, nah, bro, I don't want to play it. But we actually ended up playing it, and we absolutely turned up. And I kept saying, like, oh, I'm getting so many kills in Uplink. This is amazing. How am I doing this? And then the second round, I realized I could have my very first 100-plus game, but I just fell short. And we got a 93-kill overall gameplay on the map Nuketown. Overall, we went 93, I think 25 or something like that. Um, one like a 20 or 30 something kill streak at one point in the second round. Uh, probably could have minimized the deaths a little bit more, but I started, you know, carelessly rushing around trying to get those 100 kills to get my very first 100 plus gameplay. And I wanted to make sure that we got the W at the very beginning of the game. So, you know, there's that, but this game is still my highest kill game to date as of right now. So, the class I'm using in this gameplay is the VMP SMG with the lovely Dark Matter camo. If you guys, um,. So my best to worst video, you know what I said about the VMP, and if you haven't seen my first try Fridays I uploaded last Friday, I actually talked about the VMP and um, it, it's relation in the best to worst video, so if you saw one of those videos and didn't see the other, or vice versa, go check the uh, whatever one out you haven't seen. But uh, the class setup we're using for this VMP in this particular gameplay is the VMP with the quick draw, grip, and FMJ attachments. Oh, FMJ on Nuketown, I love you, we'll get back to that later. And then the perks I'm using, overclock. Fast Hands with Perk 2 Greed Scavenger and Tactical Mask. So this is the class setup that I'm using in the gameplay for those of you interested, but that's not the class we're going to be focusing on in this video. If you saw the title of this video, you know we're going to be talking about Nuketown classes. And the best overall Nuketown class, things that you have to have to play Nuketown to just tear people apart. Because Nuketown is the best map for getting kills, the best map for getting score, the best map for getting those challenges done, whether it be uh, getting reckless medals with, I don't even know if it's a medal, but you know, getting headshots, just killing a bunch of people, going on freaking bloodthirsties, getting all your specialist gear, your hero gear, whatever you want, getting XP, I always have more XP gained at the end of a Nuketown match than actually beasting in any other game mode, like, I remember, um... Double XP weekend came out and I thought like kill confirmed or hardpoint was one of the best modes to get uh, XP in. And I'd play that for a couple times, then go play Nuketown and my score was just like at least 1.5 times to double the XP that I got. So Nuketown is just awesome for <laughs> anything because it's so chaotic, you get a bunch of kills and it's Nuketown. So some people love it like myself. I just I play this thing all the time, especially when going for the challenges. And some people struggle and actually hate it because of that. And if you don't have Nuketown, it'll eventually be free to everyone, like they've done in the past with uh, you know pre-order bonus maps. At most, they'll go money hungry and sell it to us. But it'll most likely be free. And rumor has it that it's uh, gonna be free towards the end of this month, the 20 something, or in February. Don't hold me to that, but. That's originally around the time that the, like, they released Free For All for Ghost, uh, Nuketown 2025 for Black Ops 2, and so on. So, this video will be helpful to you eventually if you don't have Nuketown right now. If you do have Nuketown, listen up, because it's the best class setup. These are the things you have to have when playing Nuketown, because this map is chaotic, it's close quarters, and it's all about control. So, the must-have things, there's four must-have things, four staples you have to have to your class if you're playing Nuketown. FMJ is one of them. FMJ on Nuketown is just amazing. You can spray through the walls. If you're playing Domination, you're on B. You can spray through the house. You can spray through the vehicle in front of you. You can spray through the wall to the right or the left. Alley, depending on which way you are. FMJ just tears it up on Nuketown. Usually, I'm not rocking FMJ on normal maps. But if you're on Nuketown, FMJ is a must. Fast mags. As this map is chaotic, you always want to have the fastest reload and be ready for the engagement. Because it's going to be right around the corner. The third must-have for Nuketown is Tactical Mask. This is the third perk that I usually rock on every single class. I'm rocking by Nuketown. It, people are always throwing stuns and grenades, so you want to have tech mask so you're not being stunned. Because if you get stunned, you're most likely going to be killed because the dude just has to run like two steps and then he's going to kill you. So you got tactical mask. And the last thing that goes hand-in-hand -hand with tactical mask is flak jacket. Flak jacket reduces the incoming explosive damage. If you're playing anything on Nuketown, especially like I tell you back in the day, uh, when I played Nuketown on Black Ops 2, I'd just run forward and throw a grenade over the buses in the middle. 
if there's guy on domination or objective, throw a grenade over there. There's going to be nades flying and explosives flying everywhere, so flat checker will help you negate that and stay alive more. Now, there's some other things that I would suggest. One is being a launcher, or at least to have a class with a launcher that you can switch to, because Nuketown is chaotic. People are going to be getting a bunch of kill streaks and a bunch of score streaks from that. Wraiths, raps, even motherships, anything. So if you have a launcher on your backup or just you, you kill yourself or you get killed and then switch to a class with a launcher, it'll help you out a lot. You can take kill streaks down fast. Um, this even goes for like you have an LMG with FMJ, as I recommended earlier. You can shoot um, score streaks down a lot easier with that. So something like a launcher to take score streaks down. Fast hands can help you if you're being more aggressive. Get that ADS or to shoot after you sprint a lot faster. Scavenger, if you're going to turn up on Nuketown, you know. Especially if you're using an uncommon gun, pick up more ammo and just keep tearing people up. You got six cents. The nuke town is a small map, so six cents could come in handy. Uh, it, it's a situational perk you can try out for yourself. And then things to keep you off the radar, off score streak. So like something like Ghost. I know for like an objective game, playing Domination, you'll be sitting in the middle of the map, so Ghost isn't going to be effective there. Playing Kill Confirm. Ghost may come in handy. I wouldn't really recommend it. I'd rather go with a perk like Blind Eye or Cold Blooded to keep you off score streaks. So those things are going to be more deadlier than uh, staying off the radar. Being out of the score streak sites, that's that's way better. So Blind Eye or Cold Blooded. Then, you know, you just got other things like Extended Mag, Quick Draw. Just help you speed up or just deal more damage overall. But, you know, things I would definitely recommend. FMJ, Fast Max, Tactical Mask, Flag Jacket, and then a Launcher. Those are the things that you must have to play Nuketown and you will succeed nonetheless. So that's my best class setup for Nuketown. If you guys have any other suggestions, maybe you have some favorite score streaks. Like I know actually I like to use a Guardian on Nuketown. I should have got that in the video. You know, like set that up on the domination flag. People cannot get by that thing. But if you guys have any other suggestions to improve people's gameplay on Nuketown, leave them down below in the comments and let me know what you thought about that this 93 kill game down below as well. With that guys, thanks for watching as always. Be sure to subscribe for future Black Ops 2 content. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.